Tourism is here to build a country, making it better for the world to see. Oh, we're making connections, moving ahead, improving the products and giving you the best. Tourism oh, today. Hello and welcome to Tourism Today, your passport to the world of hospitality. I'm your host, Michelle Malcolm. Coming up in the show tonight, the Bahamas gets high marks for its performance as host country of the 2009 Miss Universe pageant. Forecasters looking at a lot more than the weather during one of the Ministry of Tourism's premier events. Small and medium-sized hoteliers receiving guidance towards making the Bahamas a sustainable tourism destination. In tonight's Making It in Tourism profile, you'll hear how Alvin Duncanson made the transition from dive master to operations manager while still holding on to his love for diving. All that and more straight ahead, so stay with us. Tourism Today will be right back after these words from our sponsors. It's better. your flight today for just $19. Go to spiritair.com for details. Restrictions apply. Tourism enriches the economy, our culture. It protects our environment. and promotes peace. Tourism enriches individuals, families, communities, and all the world. Welcome back. Well, we did it. Following months of preparation, hundreds of workers and volunteers, and millions of dollars spent, the 2009 Miss Universe pageant was held in the Bahamas, and by all accounts, it was a smashing success. Three weeks of activities and events culminated on August 23rd with a grand show in which the biggest winner of all was the Islands of the Bahamas. More than a billion people across the globe watched as Venezuela's Stefania Fernandez was crowned Miss Universe 2009. But before that historic moment, they also got to see the incredible beauty of the Bahamas as throughout the two-hour broadcast, these islands provided the perfect backdrop and in many instances took center stage. Prior to the broadcast, celebrities, judges, and Donald Trump himself spoke with members of the press on the red carpet. We had 18 countries that wanted to have it, and we chose Paradise Island because of the Kirshners, and really they wanted it very badly, and we're very happy. They have been so professional and so good. The ocean is just gorgeous. I live in Los Angeles, and we don't really have beautiful beaches like this. The water is not clear. Here, you step on the ocean, you see the bottom. Not in L.A. All the Bahamians are so warm. It's such a... A culture of warm people with beautiful smiles. You couldn't be in a better mood than being here. I'll come back. I think it's great. Well, I guarantee I'm coming back. The weather is fantastic. The people could not be nicer. I'm well, going to be do, back here in a hurry. Hot spot, you know, beautiful women, you know, and I just love. I've been here like five times, so I love coming back and forth, you know, having the conk and everything. I don't want to leave. I don't think anyone can get me off this island. I love it here. During the show itself, the islands of the Bahamas were prominently featured, of which tourism officials say Bahamians should be very proud. We managed to get the names of all these islands out there, either through uh, the announcer's um, pronunciation of the island name, the name on the screen, uh, plus you know the, uh, all of the activities, the signage and everything uh, on those islands. So it was really very cleverly done. In addition to showing the island excursions that the contestants and the outgoing Miss Universe enjoyed, there were several moments when beauty shots of various spots of the Bahamas were shown. One of the producers actually said to me, he said, people are going to believe that we retouched this footage. And I said, you know, we get that all the time because people cannot believe the beauty of these islands. The ministry was on a mission to ensure that as many islands of the Bahamas as possible could be experienced by the contestants so that the nine minutes allotted to the Bahamas during the show would showcase everything they could throw at the world. 
She says this was successfully achieved. We had a team of more than 120 people who sat on our committees. Um, we had a team of more than 300 volunteers that was called down from more than a thousand people who raised their hand to say, I'm you know, prepared to offer my time and my talent. The, the folks at Atlantis who bent over backwards, uh, all the transportation providers, all the musicians, the entertainers, everybody really worked so well together. More importantly, the Bahamian people pulled out all the stops when it came to showing the contestants the warmth and hospitality that we have been known for. That outpouring of love was especially evident during the float parade. The president of Miss Universe organization, Paula Shugart, said to me when we won the float, on the float parade, she said to me, I've never seen anything like this. There's so many people out here. She said, you know, in other places, you know, people come out and they, they, they look at the float and, and, and all of that. And you even get some of the way. She said, but everybody's waving. The babies are waving. She said, the men are waving. She said, I've never seen anything like that. The entire Miss Universe organization, from Donald Trump on down, were very pleased with the Bahamian effort. I think they were genuinely surprised by the degree to which we had had an itinerary already planned for these uh, contestants. And the execution of that itinerary was really done by the Ministry of Tourism and um, our private sector and public sector agency partners. Nobody can ever tell me now that we can't do certain things. And not only that, because of a, a deadline, there are all kinds of things that people would tolerate uh, in a number of cases, but now they've decided, no, 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 if you can't do it, we find somebody else to do it. Well, maybe that approach in terms of executing what we want to deliver to our visitors on a daily basis is what needs to remain in place. Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Vincent Vanderpool Wallace, said he's enormously proud of the private and public sector team that pulled this off, saying we have no more excuses. There is no doubt that uh, the coming together of this team to execute it has proven to ourselves that we have the capacity to do a whole variety of things and that we make excuses uh, for 51 weeks of the year, but then we can come together uh, in, in, in a couple of weeks and do some things that are extraordinary. The minister is equally pleased about the positioning given to the Bahamas during the broadcast. From the opening screen, you knew where it was. Well, when they're having interviews, you knew where it was for the islands of the Bahamas to be displayed the way it was. So we saw an opportunity where this could be a vehicle, uh, if you will, for almost a coming out party for the rest of the Bahamas. When you looked at that map was on the screen and they go to the specific island and name the specific island, that is very much a part of the strategies that we said we wanted to deploy. And there's no bigger platform that we could possibly have had to do that. Tourism officials are examining how to ride the wave that was created by hosting the pageant. We already plan to capitalize on a number of these, uh, of the promotional value there, so we begin to take advantage of it. And to be able to go back with um, the photographs and the images and the comments over an extended period of time is how we take advantage of uh, all of these. In the short term, hosting the Miss Universe pageant provided a much needed boost to the economy. Beyond the $3.9 million site fee to host the event, more than a million dollars was spent within the Bahamas to stage the various activities. We spent that money as judiciously as possible to ensure that at the end of the day, those nine minutes plus that the Bahamian people saw and that those billion people around the world saw was money well spent. That was the best investment anybody, anywhere has ever made, ever. When Tourism Today continues, forecasters come to the Bahamas to examine the far-reaching effects of the weather. It's better in the Bahamas, romance of the day. It's better in the Bahamas, come and dance the night away. Book your flight today for just $19. Go to spiritair.com for details. Restrictions apply. Tourism enriches.